What better way to spend a Friday morning than with Topps Gilded Collection? $400 for five cards, including two autographs. She sounds hideous. They might as well have just called this one the Topps Hitman Rips and Run Good Life Collection. Because you knew damn well that us dirty, dirty DJs were going to bring this product to you on our channels. Sounds just like a product up our alley, right? Let the games of chance begin! Happy Friday, y'all. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new video here on a Friday. And this box is going to determine whether it is a good Friday or it's a bad Friday. It is delicious, it's good for me, it's a perfect way to start the day. Today we have 2022 Topps Gilded Collection, a brand new product from Topps because you know, the press has gotta be running at all times and all these new products have to be coming out. And this one is, is a bit interesting and, and there's a couple reasons why. The first is that this product was due out many weeks ago and in what I've heard, from, uh, from some people in the hobby, that distributors actually received this product, I think back in late November, early December, and uh, then it got recalled, they had to ship it all back to Tops, and this one got moved forward to a February 1st release date. I don't know why, I don't know if they made a mistake with something, I don't know, maybe a copyright issue and they had to pull cards, don't know, but, it, but I wanted to put that out there because that is a little nugget of knowledge that I learned about this product because we were expecting this one to come out many weeks ago. But we have it here. All cards are numbered to 199 or less. We are going to get five cards total, including two autographs. One will be a gold frame auto, and one will be a gilded chrome auto. That means it's going to be on an etch stock, and that is what some of the refractors look like in this one. All the refractors numbered to 99 or less, and then the autos are to 199 or less. I'm going to be honest with you. From what I've seen on the checklist, it is kind of gross. For a $400 product, kind of gross. I see Peyton Henry and Otto Lopez on the checklist. That's not a good sign. Uh, but it is a very high-end product. High risk, high reward. We see these more from Panini than we do at Tops. So here's a Tops one. Turn it over on the back. There is the pack odds of everything. We are going to get uh, all of the, uh, the number to 99s. Uh, or sorry, excuse me. All of the etches. Are there uh, super fractors are in along with lava gold etches, ray wave gold etches, mini diamond gold etches, and base gold etches. So uh, everything is all gold. Everything in this type of product. Everything I touch turns to gold. Now, one thing that I do like with these, unlike Panini, which they do just typically come in a small box, when Topps puts out a product like this, it's actually a you know it, it's more of an experience. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of. Um, not Transcendent Collection, but uh, what's the other one? Diamond Icons. Oh, we're just going to rip that. Kind of reminds me of Diamond Icons. You know, you get 10 cards in Diamond Icons. I think it's like $3,000 a box or $2,500 a box. So you get this nice premium experience. And I think we're going to see two car two packs inside, if I can open it. I think we're going to get two packs inside. Yes, we are. So this one is going to be our gold frame. And this is going to be our three base cards and one additional etch autograph. Babe Ruth cut is the product hit this time around and hopefully we hit it in one of these two packs and it isn't a George Brett auto <laughs> Come on Panini. What are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Shorter video here today I don't know if we will be breaking this this weekend But we will definitely be breaking flawless and more back on our normal Saturday schedule So rungoodlife.com if you want to hop into some breaks here we go $400 for five cards. We're looking for the big rookies would love to see a Julio today I'll settle for Wander. I'll settle for Bobby Witt, but show me a Julio. That's as far from Julio as it gets. Pudge, and that is uh, on the gold mini diamond right there. Gold mini diamond is going to be numbered to 50 right there. Gold mini diamond to kick it off. Let's let's go ahead and close that box up for a second so I can struggle with it a little bit later on. Uh, gold mini diamond to 50. You can see it is on the Topps Chrome set. So Topps Chrome Gilded Collection. What are, what are we calling this? We're calling this expensive is what we are calling this. Pudge gonna kick things off. I'm gonna imagine that it's gonna be very, very hard to complete this set. Now, only five cards a box. These things are gonna be pricey. Everything to 99 or less. Turn it over on the back. It's just a Topps Chrome card. It does have an etch feel to it though. So even though it's a Chrome card, it does kind of have a, 
a matte finish, which is kind of cool. Doesn't have a chrome stock finish, so it has a matte finish, even though it's called Topps Chrome. You know, you know I'll, I'll let you figure that one out. All right, next card out is a Yankee. Shout out to my dude. Oh, that's not a good auto. Auto checklist was rough. Auto checklist was rough. I knew that. Garrett Cole is going to be on the gold Ray Wave 21 of 25. So there is the new Ray Wave. Ray Waves are a relatively new pattern for tops. Uh, we saw the mini diamond before that. And I, I think Ray Wave might be first to uh, 2021. I think like, what was it? Draft. Bowman Draft had Ray Waves, I believe. So that is a new design for tops. Now, as they print more, they got to come up with new parallels. Uh, but that one is numbered to 25. Our autograph is not very good. Autograph is a former Mariner, though. That is Nelson Cruz on card auto. And in a $400 product, I probably don't want a Nelson Cruz auto. And, and I probably don't want, you know, this is like a 17th year Nelson Cruz or something. Dude can bomb him. But man, I'm not going to ever remember Nelson Cruz as a Tampa Bay Ray. I can tell you that. Would have been a hell of a lot happier if that was Wanda right there. All right, final card on the inner for Detroit. Can we get Spencer? Okay, Ty Cobb. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Ty Cobb, and that is to 99 on the Ty Cobb. So that would be the gold etch. That would be the gold etch parallel right there. So gold etch and Ty Cobb. Autograph was, oof. Nelly Cruz to 99. 99 of 99 on the Nelson Cruz. My excitement level is not 99 of 100 with the Nelson Cruz. All right, one card left today. I don't think we're anywhere near that $400. But what I will say is, even even if you don't get the best names, you know, you know, Ty Cobb's a good one. This one will definitely be worth a bit. Brand new products, so probably no comps out. Uh, that one will probably be worth a bit. This one, Garrett Cole, a eh, Yankee. I'm sure JML will come come after me on that one. Pudge, man, I mean, Pudge is a Hall of Famer, right? And Nelly Cruz. I don't know if Nelson Cruz is going to be a Hall of Famer or not. All right, we have one card left today. It will be our gold frame auto. I've looked at the checklist for these, and, and it is, it's rough. It's rough, so we're going to need to see a really good name. How about a Julio? Can I, can I keep just asking for a Julio? How about a Julio? Ryan Sandberg to 25. It feels a lot like a transcendent card if you're familiar with Topps uh, Transcendent Collection, which is a uh, like a $26,000, $25,000 product. Uh, or like a Topps Gold Label card, I guess would be a better... More people would probably hold a gold gold label card, gold label frame, than a transcendent card. Ryan Sandberg, 11 of 25 on card auto. But uh, man, what an overwhelming, what an underwhelming product. I would think with a product like this that you would have to, you know, roll out the red carpet with a dynamite checklist. And uh, Tops did not do that with this product. Um, I can see this one probably going to be a breaker friendly product. I can't see. Yeah, personal rip of this one is rough. You know, in, in group breaks, you know, buying into a case of this or, or you know, in a mixer, I can definitely see it, you know, because the cards are gorgeous. I uh, love the look of the cards. I like that everything is gold. Kind of see it now with the Gilded Collection, you know. I like the frames. These are very polarizing in the hobby. Some hate these metal cards. I don't mind them. Tops did it in a very elegant manner. Card looks great. Looks a lot like a transcendent, uh, like a transcendent design, if you're familiar with that as well. But I would have, if I was making this product and I was Tops, I definitely would have shored up the auto checklist a little bit. I would have made sure that every box had at least one good superstar or uh, retired player that's you know decent. Maybe you're gonna say, but Ryan Sandberg is good. Sure. Sure. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is I've seen a whole lot of Ryan Sandberg autos in my day and a lot of Topps products. Nelson Cruz, definitely not one you want in a Rays uniform. I like the concept of the product. Now, I like these high-risk, high-reward style products, and we do a bunch of them here on the channel. I like those. I like the no base cards because I have too many base cards in my personal collection. So I like these no frills, let's just get straight to the hits kind of products. But I think when you're doing them, you got to... You got to think about what you're putting in the product. And more often than not with Panini, you get a bunch of junk. Tops typically does these a little bit better. But I'm not so sure on this auto checklist on this one. So that would be my one caution if you are considering a box of this. At your local card shop or ordering one online, you can expect to pay about $400 a box. This is a very, very short printed product. They did not make a ton of it. 
I think I saw something like 500 to 550 cases is the estimate. So there's only going to be a handful of uh, cases out there. And this is one that's going to get broken a lot in the next couple of weeks. It's going to dry up, and I believe the price will likely go up on this one. That would be my speculation. Um, but I think, you know, if, if you're somebody who is out there looking for value, if you're not just out there hunting for big hits, this one, this one's probably a pass for you. I don't think you're going to enjoy it. If you are hunting for the big hits, if you're willing to spend $400 to chase the Babe Ruth cut or some of the other cut autographs in this one, this one's probably for you. Um... I like the product, it looks good. I think that this one is better suited for breaks myself. I think personals, it's probably tough. I don't even know if I see 100 here, which would be 25% back, which is pretty actually normal in the hobby these days uh, for a bad box or for an, an uh, average box. Uh, man, yeah, a little rough, a little rough today. Let me know your comments in the, th let me know your comments below. What do you think of this product? Are you gonna be ripping it? Is it just another cash grab, another Topps Chrome, another version of Topps Chrome? We have another version coming out pretty soon too with Topps Chrome Sonic. They have really, really overdone it this year with Chrome for sure. That's going to do it for me. Happy Friday. We'll catch you tomorrow in the live stream. Until then, catch you next time on Down the Road.